and John Sells Gagnon here so have you heard of the 12 critical steps to your online success do you know what it is that you're missing from your activities from your what is it that you've done what you haven't done do you know what you need to do to get the success that you finally deserve this is a free ebook you can get we're going to talk about it a little bit and to give you an overview of what the steps are what you need to be doing and how you can accomplish those things we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so the 12 critical steps to your online success is up for grabs all you got to do is you got to go get it at the link I'm going to put a link in the description but if you're listening to this on audio obviously you're going to have to go to the platform to go see but the link I'm going to tell you what the link is well actually here let's just put it on right now just so you can actually go and check this out first so the link is online success 12 steps.com just go to online success 12 steps.com to get your free copy we're going to talk about what this is right now they basically you know last year I've been I've been doing this online for five years now and last January I decided you know what I need to figure out what it is that's missing from my activities from my stat from my 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 what I've done so far to get the results that I want the, the results I deserve right so I decided what is it that I you know if I were to start over from scratch what would I do first what would I do next how would I organize my activities the things that I do to to get to the point of you know the results that I'm looking for so we're going to show you a little bit so basically this ebook is available here uh, let's just go to the page right here I'm just going to show you this page just give me a moment uh, that right there to share the screen all right so on clickycourse.com I'm gonna remove the link here uh, just so that it's not in the way so on clickycourse.com um, you can access this course right here the thing is that the course itself is not a it's not a course in this in the in the sense of a course right it's really a series of videos that go through these 12 steps like for example I start off with the introduction right in the introduction I talk about how and why I decided to create these 12 steps right I created this 12 step ebook on the you know on the fly if you will but I mean it's it's based on information that I've had for a long long time what are the steps that you got to do like for example you know you got to define your vision right you got to define your vision you got to define your audience you got to define your avatar you got to define your offer you got to create your content copy you got to define your attractive character prepare your email uh, have a free item set up your tools create a capture page define your offer stack and uh, possibly do webinars if you're if, if you do webinars definitely you want to be doing that in in that sequence and why do we why do I talk about you know setting up your tools in step number nine right why don't I do it in the beginning and that's one of the things I realized definitely that's a big big one because when I started online like I said a couple five years ago now I started by understanding the tools setting up the tools setting up my my autoresponder setting up my my capture pages setting up my funnel setting up my my blog setting up my accounts on Facebook on on YouTube on Twitter right I did all of that in the beginning to because you know that's kind of what I felt needed to be done but after you know going through it for five years like I said almost well four years I guess at that time one of the things that I realized was that there was there was too much that I was doing that didn't have to be done in the beginning and a couple of things that I didn't really spend enough time on like for example if I look at at step number one right defining your vision I mean in in this audiobook in this in this 
uh, ebook in the ebook that you have right here that you can have access to which by the way is right down here if we just show you what it kind of looks like right there online um basically defining your goals like I said defining your audience defining your avatar all these things are the cornerstone of your business if you don't know what you're actually offering I mean sure you know you're selling this or you're getting them to join this or you you have this course or whatever it is you know what you have but you got to define it for your audience one of the things that uh, if you see the, these books in behind me right here Russell Brunson he's got an amazing series of books on just how to market online what are the things that you need to do to actually get results right and and one of the things that people don't do which I certainly didn't do in the beginning was to really really focus on who is my audience who is my target market who is my avatar who is my perfect customer right who is and what is it that I'm actually selling them not not the thing I'm selling them but what is it that I'm hoping they'll accomplish or what is it that I, that I'm I wanting to help them achieve right so we talk about those things in the first four steps right first four steps of defining your audience defining your offer clarifying your message all these things are part of the beginning without that you're not going to have any kind of results you're not going to have any kind of you know success because well because you're going to be diluting your message if you're for example okay let's just say for example you're in the network marketing business and you have, you have this awesome product that you have you're selling right I mean I was in network marketing I was in in a company that's that that rhymes with Ramway <laughs> I was in that company for years for like four four years was it I think and you know I love the experience I loved learning business I loved learning how to um how to engage with people how to talk to people how to get their numbers all these things I learned all these things and but the thing is that for me it wasn't I wasn't happy constantly going out in the world I really wanted the online experience so that's why I got into online business building and eventually left the network marketing and just focused on online affiliate marketing or course selling and that kind of stuff but the thing that I realized is that those the people that are in those businesses they they and me too right when I when I was in that it was like well this is the most amazing opportunity you can make some money from just you know having people try things trying your products and 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 you know they'll tell their friends and then they'll tell their friends and all this stuff was amazing so it was for everybody right that business and those products and the the making money was for everybody everybody wants that definitely it's for sure that everybody wants that right so I wasn't focusing on one thing so then I was talking about everything to everybody and that's one of the failings of marketing or you know online marketing or any kind of marketing really is trying to sell to everyone I mean I'm sure you've heard that before if you're selling to everybody you're selling to nobody right and that's that's exactly the the reason for this saying is because if you're if you're not focusing your message on one particular audience and even one specific avatar well and I cover this stuff in here I explain what is an avatar what's the difference between an avatar and and your audience right or your cus your target market versus your avatar and all these things why, why does it matter why this why is it important and the thing is that that is the number one reason why people don't have success like me I'm still focused I'm still clarifying that I'm still doing that improvement but every time I produce something it I can say to myself okay so who is who is my avatar what is it that I should be creating that they're going to be interested in that they're going to be you know uh, connecting with that that's going to help them with something and today is like okay well and this is one of the things I do I should plan probably better uh, but you know I'm like okay I'm going to talk about this 12 step critical step specifically to my audience the people that are interested in building a business online the people that are interested in generating income online the people that are interested in selling courses and creating courses and promoting courses and doing affiliate marketing that's my target market it's not you know the person who's happy being home but still would like to make some extra money 
that person you know they they might be interested but I'm not going to focus on that person I'm not going to talk to them about you know uh, retirement times and, and and relaxing on the beach and those things those are not those are not my target market I'm not going to talk about you know college I'm not going to talk about uh, making money when you're when you're 20 right because that's not my target market my target market is specific and I'm talking to you right now because you're my target market you're here because you're interested in the stuff that I typically post about that I typically talk about you know you're interested in building your your online presence you're interested in growing your audience you're in interested in in generating income eventually from your efforts online you're interested in in chatbots on your blog you're interested in, in maybe setting up a blog you have those interests so that's why I'm talking to you that's why I'm talking about this I'm talking about these 12 steps if you want to have the success that you deserve the success that you want you need to do the things that will take you there and one of the things that I didn't do in the beginning right was 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 clearly identify what it is that I needed to do I didn't like this one this in this in this 12 step uh, ebook I talk about step number one which is you know defining your vision if you if you don't define your vision if you're not clear as to where you're going and, and I talk also about what is a vision why it's important the kinds of visions um and setups you can have you know you can have a vision board you can have uh, just uh, uh, or you can write it down you can write your story you can write your perfect day your perfect year there's different things different ways to do that and I talk about that in here and explain how you can define your vision right and I and I show you what I did to define my vision like if you go to this 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 course here go back to the course here um and I'm logged in already no I'm not logged in let's just log in over here now if I if I if I'm logged in I can access the course so these are so if I just uh go on here let's just uh turn the sound off um but I just want to kind of show you so the neck the 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 video itself is a my friend so do you a 17 minute video where I talk about the my vision how I came up with my vision how I do it how I created it and also of course I explain what a vision is right what is a vision why is it important to have a vision right some some tricks right to go and figure out what your vision is I talk about um places where you can find things online how to create a vision board then of course I talk about the rest of the 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 rest of the steps and all that right but that's that's the first one right so I mean that's the vision the vision if if you don't have a vision you can't you know and the vision is it's not exactly the same as your why it's not exactly the same as your goal or your plans or your dreams it's it's around that area and I kind of talk about that so that's what step number one is your first step is to define your vision and then your next three steps defining your audience your avatar and your offer those three things I mean I put them in that order they could be a little bit different but it doesn't really matter in the end you need to define your audience you need to know is your audience a certain what's your age group right is it 30 to 50 or is it uh it's 14 to 20 right who is your audience their age their gender what country do they live in where what do they do what kind of income do they have um, do they have kids or not and did, did they go to college or not did they go to university what's their education level right all these things is how is defined is your audience and the reason why it's important to do that is because say you start talking about your product or your service or your course and your course is for people who have you know a university degree right and you're just talking about it like it's the simplest thing the easiest thing in the world and you're talking as if the the student that's that's you know 16 or 18 could could do it or benefit from it maybe they can but the point is that when they go on there and they start looking at it and they they don't understand anything because it's there's lots of stuff they need to have learned from university for example um, I don't know let's say you have a uh, an example Let, let's say you have a, a, a programming course a course on how to program in um in go 
well okay go is one of the languages one of the recent languages that's been that's used a lot by Google and by other other companies and you're teaching how to use go and you're basically just showing them how to do certain structures and things like that well if your your audience needs to understand program they, they need to have a basic for programming if they don't they're going to be completely lost when they go look at it so they're going to be like well this is not for me and then they're going to cause some negativity around say your post on Facebook or things like that where you're talking about your course right you really you really want to make sure that whoever is going to check your course out knows that it's for advanced people so when you talk about it online you you don't talk a language that's meant for somebody who has no programming experience you you give it the kind of wording that a programmer would understand so that they know if they're not a programmer they're not even going to bother clicking it because they're already going to know that it's not for them and you don't want those people because of like I said just like I said it, it causes negativity around your post and stuff right so I mean if you post something and you talk like if anybody would know how to do it and then they go to it and they don't like it they they might comment on your post this guy doesn't know what he's doing or this is this is no good or whatever right you never know that's possible I don't, I'm not saying it'll happen all the time but it could so you got to make sure that your message and the other reason too is that you don't want people going to your say capture page and not really knowing what it's about so you prepare your content so that when they go to it they understand they you know that they'll know because you're targeting them right I mean it's not it's it sounds a little simple it's certainly not that simple but I do kind of explain your audience how to define your audience how to figure out what your audience is how to because one of the things one of the things that you got to do is you just got to make a decision you just got to decide you could be like well I don't know I want to sell to everybody I want to sell to you know 15 year olds and, and 65 year olds I want to sell to all of them and you know what that's awesome sure you can sell to all of them but the point is that you if you're not focusing your message and you're not uh, defining an audience it's gonna like I said it, you, you you market to no one when you're marketing to everybody so even if if you're not sure who to pick just just pick someone pick a group pick pick a, a, a target pick a pick a country pick a pick a, a an age group pick, pick a gender pick a you know whatever right you just pick it and then you focus on that for a while and then you get results out of it if you don't get any results after a certain amount of time and you're the one to judge how long you want to try to do it but I would say at least you know three months maybe even six that you're focused on one particular thing and then after that you can try to do something else if you get results out of that that's when you would start to focus on another uh, target market another audience right so we talk about that then like I said defining your offer is so so important your offer is not the product like I said right it's not the product it's not what you're selling it's not the it's not the service it's not you know I'm selling internet access so the the what I'm selling is you can have high-speed internet no I'm not selling that I'm selling you not having problems with your internet anymore I'm selling uh you work you know being happy that you're helping somebody local um I'm, I'm, I'm selling um that that you're gonna get service from a, an a person instead of a bit of a business right and that you're gonna feel like you're helping your local you know business you're 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 promote you're generating income for the local business because it's a local person you know that's that's what you're selling and you know internet service is probably a bad example because it's pretty general but I mean if it's a course on um, uh, healthy eating right you're not selling healthy eating you're not selling that you're selling the results of it you know wouldn't you love to really start to feel your body is toned and that your that your family is all looking at you saying oh my god what are you doing you look so healthy these days you look like you're energetic you don't you're not tired that's awesome and and maybe you want to tell you want to to have less trouble sleeping and you want to have a good night's sleep you don't want to wake up all night long you want to you wake up refreshed well all that happens by healthy eating healthy eating causes all this because unhealthy eating causes all those problems you want to get rid of those problems 
so that's an example of your offer your offer is not healthy eating course it's the results that they're going to get it's the feelings they're going to have when they're eating healthy finally it's the getting rid of the feelings they have now because they're not eating healthy right that's your offer that's how you figure out your offer and like I said I talked about the offer in here uh d defining your avatar your offer uh, right I talked an 18 minute video here that talks about it all explains you what I did to define my offer right and it's the same with all the rest here and if you're like I said if you're listening to the audio here make sure you go to the link to the blog post to go look at the video or to go go like I said go to the link here go to the um where is it right here go to, to online success 12 steps.com whoops that's the wrong one I'm moving the wrong one online success 12 steps.com so 12 the number one the numbers one and two so online success s-u-c-c-e-s-s -S -S, right and then one two the numbers one two and steps with an s.com so online success 12 steps.com you can get your own copy of this it's free and like I said it includes all the videos that I did when I first created this uh, last a, a little while ago and I've been using this to kind of focus myself to, to, to it's I've been using this to help myself get the right results get the right you know get the right uh focus focus my content focus what I'm doing focus you know what is it that people need when they are thinking about their their business if you're trying to figure out what it is that you need to sell online this is something that you need all right so go to 12 online success 12 steps.com and get your copy right now all right hopefully this you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.